Oh man! Wow, that's uh, yeah, that's intense, isn't it? So, what's the history of media? So, about three years ago, well, the history goes back. The DM itself goes back loads. It goes back like. 15 years so I originally used to use a CB radio and my nickname on CB radio was Danger Mouse Dad, I just loved Danger Mouse cartoon that much so I just called myself Danger Mouse I was on CB radio for about 2 or 3 years 2 years after that I got into computers got into IRC internet relay chat and the first version of internet relay chat version 1 you could only have eight characters for a nickname, so I had to reduce my nickname from Danger Mouse to D Mouse. And so for years, I was I used the nickname D Mouse and that's my gaming tag and everything. D Mouse with a zero and a three on the end. At that time as well, I was really getting into Depeche Mode because I was like 2021. 20, I was like everything Depeche Mode. I didn't port all their albums, all the see-through vinyl, all the limited editions, everything. You know, so the, I had loads of albums with just DM on the front of it, like written in red in the rose in the middle. Like loads of imports had like blue roses and red roses, but it had this. DM and I really, it was always in my face, it was always on my record player. I changed my name from Danger Mouse to DM just because <laughs> I optimised everything in my life eventually until it's just fucking the people left. So it became DM and then I just weirdly one night about two or three o'clock in the morning just did a search like looking for, you know, is there an internet nick for .dm and it turns out there is one in the Dominican Republic. You think it'd be you think it'd be dr, but it's actually dm. And so I applied. I, I got in touch with this. I went up to the website and I typed in me, just like just because you know it's just, I wasn't even thinking of names. I just thought oh, yeah, put me. It came up, said yeah, you can register this. And then I looked at it and it said me dm, and I was like, oh, it's me dm. So I ordered it, but I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about medium, blog, video, textual medium. I wasn't thinking of any of that at that stage. Ordered it, and nothing happened for like 72 hours. I was thinking, I've not got it. And I got a phone call, missed call, about 4 o'clock in the morning. I thought nothing of it. Woke up the next day, halfway through the day, got a phone call again. And there was this Caribbean woman on the end of the phone. Uh, you know, I'm the internet registrar, blah, blah, blah. You know, you've registered this ME.EM. Can you tell me what you're going to do with it? I said, well, I'm a creative. I wanted a creative URL. I'm going to put all my files on it. Whatever. It was not cheap. Bit of a weird story there. And then I uploaded my first site and two weeks later they phoned me up again and she said, would you be interested in doing some work for Dominican Republic government? Uh, because And I went to their website and it was just this black starfield background with like horrible kind of massive dividers and whatever. I had to turn it down, but it was just interesting. At that stage, it was interesting to me how like a knock-on effect on the web can cause a reaction. And how that me just coming up with the idea of what this was. Her questions were, are you a spammer or do you want it for spamming purposes or blah 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 blah. I didn't know why would you have just M E. So yeah it was wild. And then I've had it ever since.